good evening, everybody. We are at California Grill at Disney's Contemporary Resort. This is a uh, signature dining experience that we have had the, uh, the pleasure of having uh, several times before. Uh, this time we are joined by some friends, um, and Dad is here as well. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Uh, now, this uh, signature dining uh, does entail certain dress codes. You must have, uh, you know, a basic level of decorum, including collared shirt uh, or a dress, something to that effect. We went over this this entire menu, which changes frequently. So do expect that to change between your viewing and your potential visit. Um, but this is one of the top tier. <laughs> this is one of the top tier uh, dining experiences in Walt Disney World, with the exception of things like Victoria and Albert, who was several of the uh, ultra top uh, dining experiences. Uh, so. We are happy to have you along for our dinner. We'll show you everything that uh, that we decide upon and give you a review of everything that we do have. Crispy mushrooms. It's a bottle of the cellar. <laughs> wow. So if you're a fan of goat cheese, that is really, really good. It's exceptionally creamy. It's not overpowering. It's got just a little bit bite to it. Not spice, but um, that cheese essence. Um, that's really good. <laughs> Wonderfully good. Let's see. So, so Dad gave me a taste of his uh, his Wagyu pot sticker. Thank you. Just got a little heat to it. Um, nothing overpowering. The beef is so rich. Um, I can make a meal out of those just by themselves. That's delicious. Spicy Kazan roll. Okay. So this is one of the California uh, grill specialties they had set. It's the spicy Kazan roll. Let's see. So that tuna is amazing. The spice on it builds. Um, now, this is served with the spice, the spicy sauce in the middle. So you can kind of choose how much you want to have. It took a little bit, uh, enough to get the flavor, a little heat, because I do like that. And uh, it's very slow to build, but it's powerful. So if you're very spice sensitive, I'm not saying don't get it, but be careful. Uh, that's something that could probably take you by surprise because when it starts off, it's not so hot, but it keeps going. But that is excellent. I've been told to try this. This is their old fashioned. It smells excellent. <laughs> And it is excellent. If you're a bourbon drinker, 
this is the drink for you. And I'm a bourbon drinker. But this one's for Dad. I like it. I got the honeybee. It has really gin and honey and lemonade, I think. Uh, but it's very good. It comes with a little flower in it. There's that. So Trevor, you got the crudo. Yes. What did you think? I, it was, I mean, it was amazing. Um, so there were four different portions to it. Um, each of them was dressed. Perfect for the type of fish. Is that something you'd look forward to getting again? Oh, absolutely. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So Des has her beef tenderloin and the baked mac and cheese. Of course I go for the mac and cheese first. It's Gouda mac and cheese. Gouda. It's so good. Would you say it's Gouda? It's so Gouda. So Gouda? Yeah. Womp womp. That's very good. Can I have another one of these? <laughs> I need another one to go. Uh, so there's my filet. I had a butterfly. Butterfly and, and well done. And ruined, as some would say. Yes, me. Let's see if it is. Because that looks incredibly tender, and it is well done. Wow. Okay. Go for it. It's oak fired filet. Oak fire. With spinach. And whatever this is. Are you happy, Des? Oh yeah. Good. It is so good. Because even though I get my meat well done, that tends to make it a little tougher. Mm -hmm. This is still so smooth. Excellent. That's the, the best word I can use to describe it. It's just okay. it's still melts in your mouth. Incredibly tender. Yeah. So I have the lobster tail and scallops. Okay. So I'm going to go fry for the scallop first. Nice sear on that. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. So scallops are easy to ruin. These are perfect. It is so, so tender. Perfectly cooked through. The sear is excellent. The flavor on this is incredible. I'm not even sure exactly what this sauce is. I'm gonna get a little more of this. A little sauce here. Mmm, looks like a puree pea something. I'll double check that on the menu. Wow. Okay. I gotta go for this lobster. Unfortunately, lobster always cools off really quick. And that's my fault because I take the time to film it first. But, temperature aside, this is an amazing lobster. I'm not even sure what the sauce is again. I always forget about the sauces. I just go right for the dish. But it's a perfect compliment. It doesn't overpower the lobster. It's cooked so well. It is not tough. Um, it's not wow. too juicy like you can get like when they, they just steam a lobster. Um, clearly these cooks, you know, chefs, sorry, the chefs, know exactly what they're doing. I'm gonna heartily enjoy this one. Dad is cutting into his pork tenderloin. 
this is so good. This tenderloin is on par with flame and gun texture. Yeah. Taste. Nice char on the outside. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Then we come here. You getting this again? Getting this again. Excellent. Trevor, how was your meal? Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had the grouper. Right. Um what was it? Coconut and mushrooms. Really sweet, but uh counterbalance is really well. Yeah. Again, you, this is something you'd order again? Oh, absolutely. Wonderful. Mike? And the snapper with the gnocchi, the sauce is so good on it. It's a garlic, butter, spice sauce. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. It's really good. I would definitely have it again. And the crisp on the snapper is a perfect sear, perfect, well done. The parts that's a great texture um, contrast to the whole thing. And they're not overly tender. They've got a little bit of that damage. And this is something you would go for again? Oh, yes. In a heartbeat. <laughs> Dessert, uh, we ordered some various things. Des had gotten uh, the creme brulee, so did Dad. Uh, I got the chocolate cake, so we'll show that to you in a minute. But uh, for the time being, I did get some lemon verbena tea, which is a nice little thing to have after. Okay, so as I was just saying, uh, I got the chocolate cake. Here it is plated. This is amazing looking. Des and Dad both got the brulee. I've never quite seen a brulee plated like this before. <laughs> Trevor got the cheese board. Waiting for one cheese to come out. That's right. The lavender donuts. Apple tart. Who's digging in first? Okay, Des. Very brulee like. <laughs> it's burnt, burnt, lemonade, whatever. Mm -hmm. On top, just nice. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but it's good. <laughs>
So I'm about halfway through my chocolate dessert here. And uh, all I have to say is that if you like chocolate, you're going to be in heaven. Trevor, how are your cheeses? Really good. There's one on here that's really, really good. The Oma? But I'm guessing they change it, you know, based off of what the availability is. Right. Yep, there's one here on like any of ever had. So, pretty spot on. Nice. Yeah. Mike, your lavender. The lavender nuts are mint, especially when they're first out and they're really hot. And just the, the light floral scent in it. Flavor. It's amazing. Excellent. Merwin, how's your chart? It's good. I can't seem to break the crust though. I don't know why. <laughs> but uh, it's got gooey gooey butter cake ice cream with it, which is oh, very good. California Grill. What do you think? Amazing. The food is excellent. So good. So we had gone previously in 2016. I wasn't feeling well. I could barely touch my food and it was so disappointing because it was so good. Yeah. I had like three bites of whatever I had and that was it. I was done. Tonight I finished everything. That lobster, gone. Scallops, gone. <laughs> Even the little microgreens that were on it. Gone. All gone. I think he did everything short of lick the plate. That you know of. <laughs> it was a very, very wonderful meal. Mm -hmm. um, everything we hoped for. The service was good. The food was good. The food was great. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to see the fireworks uh, for the uh, Halloween party that was going on at Magic Kingdom. Uh, it is a new firework show from previous years. Previously mm -hmm. it was Hallowishes. Uh, honestly, I like Hallowishes better. Mm -hmm. uh, better songs, better everything. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, just one more reason. I'm, we're not so thrilled on the, uh, the party idea anymore, mm -hmm. which is a shame because we really liked it. It's still one of the best parades. That's, that's oh, a different yeah. thing. But California Girl, um, things to know. You can book that for the times that there's going to be fireworks at Magic Kingdom, whether it's a party or not. And uh, you can request, but it's depending on availability, uh, if you can get the table that's going to be facing it. But anyone who is dining during the firework times is also welcome to go out onto the balconies up on the roof there mm -hmm. to watch the shows. We chose not to. We had our desserts. We were given the option to hold the desserts so we could go outside to watch as well. So you do have that option too. Again, we chose not to. We wanted to watch the show while eating our dessert. Um, it was already kind of late because again, it's a party night and we want to kind of just get things going. And it wasn't crowded. Um, we had good seats anyhow. Mm -hmm. The music is piped in, and uh, we got to, to watch and eat all at the same time, which was nice. So, uh, definitely, if you have the opportunity and means to go to California Grill, we highly recommend it. Um, it is top tier dining. We said this before. So, it's two credits on the Disney Dining That's right. Glen. It's standard Disney Dining Glen. 
That's right. And um, proper tires required. Hats are a no-no. Okay. Uh, you should be wearing, if you're wearing pants, you can wear shorts, uh, but they want khakis or something to that effect. Jeans need to not be ripped, uh, but they're okay, they said. Um, you should have a collared shirt. You should have on a dress or something uh, presentable. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly no t-shirts and cutoffs. Tank tops, things like that. Absolutely not. You can't yeah. do that. Um, how much you want to spend depends on what you want to eat. They have some lighter fare like some pizzas like that run a area of $12. They have meals like we uh, splurged on a bit tonight that run upwards of $40 or more for an entree. Uh, mine was actually $65. Mine was $59. That's right. So that's you have to take that into consideration how much the meal is going to cost and you're going to get what you're paying for here. And you so. definitely have to make sure that you set aside at least like three hours at most. I mean, if you're with a bigger party, probably closer to four hours because it is a long meal. It is It is a long meal. They purposely <laughs> space it out. They mm -hmm. want you to savor everything you're having. Uh, can you make a quicker meal? Probably if you're only ordering an entree and something small and that's it. Right. Uh, but if you're going to have a dining experience like we did, we had multiple appetizers that we shared around the table. Mm -hmm. We had the entrees that we also shared a little bit around the table and the desserts. Uh, plus I had tea, they have various nightcaps, uh, even a port that was $1,000 for a three ounce pour. So pretty much you have anything that can suit any price point and taste at this place. Mm -hmm. We highly recommend it. And if that's, uh, if that's not really your cup of tea, so to speak, you know, you might want to find something a little more run in the mill. But otherwise, if you're into dining, you're into food, flavors, and uh, fresh varieties, this is the place you want to go. Absolutely. So we hope you enjoyed eating along with us. And uh, like, subscribe, share the video. Hit the notification icon to be notified when we post more videos. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to seeing you joining us. On our next adventure. Good night, everybody.